Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. Today I will be demonstrating a science activity. The objective is to identify and label the life cycle of an ant. Through this booklet, the children will be creating the life cycle. They will also be uh, learning different skills that we have identified. Let me show you the first one. The first one, of course, will be sequencing because as you can see through this booklet, it is the life cycle of the ant. And they will learn the steps of first, second, next, and last. The next uh, skill that they will be identifying is that visual discrimination because they'll be able to look at the picture and discriminate to connect it to the word. Another skill that they, that they will de be developing is the vocabulary. Of course, because of the vocabulary that's in the book, they'll be able to know the names of this, each stage of the life cycle of an ant. And of course, because they'll be reading the words, so we, we are reinforcing reading and writing. So to begin this activity, you're, you're going to need, of course, the life cycle of the ant activity sheet and of course the little face of the ant a long construction paper and the vocabulary the stages of the ant of course the first one is the egg that's the first stage the next step is the larva so they're going to use this when they are doing their booklet and you can post this wherever they are working. And the next stage, which is the third stage of the life cycle, is the pupa. And then, of course, the adult, which is the ant. Okay? So this is what they will be writing. So, what you do first to create, to create the booklet, uh, we're going to cut, we're going to go ahead and cut the life cycle of the ant. And they're going to be writing also to connect it to the picture because everything connects back to the picture. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut around it so when we create our little booklet. Okay, go ahead and get the next one. Cut around that. Okay, and then I'll put it in order because so we know they have learned in science the sequence the life cycle of an ant. They've been learning all about about the, the cycle and the characteristics. Okay, and our book's going to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and display it here so you'll be able to see it. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and, and cut one. We only need one of the face. Do that, cut around that. And of course, like We've mentioned before, you're modeling for the children. Okay. Now, put this, we don't need this. Okay, how to make the, 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 the booklet it's so easy. What you do, you take one of the long construction papers. And of course, we show them brown because ants are brown, some are red. And you fold that in half. You get this to fold in half. Fold that in half and you crease it. Okay, you it like that. And then you just cut it in half. And you're only going to need one side. Only one. Cut it like this. Just straight across. And you know what? You can have this, if you want to have these strips already uh, cut for the children. And you can also have, I'll show you this other uh, little book that's ready. So what you do first, you fold it in half. Okay? After you fold it in half, then you fold it up. So that's how it's going to fall into the sequence order. Then you fold the other side. Because remember, we want it to look like this. Remember when we mentioned that before? Like this. Now, and all you do is to cut the corners just like triangles. Just real easy. Each corner. Because you're going to use this brown paper to make the antenna. So see, now and I'm going to open it up, and there's our book, okay? 
So then I'm going to open up, and the first step is the egg. So this is where the children will be doing this. They will be going ahead and gluing the picture. And of course, after they do that, that's the first stage. Okay, now we have to write the word. So let's go ahead and write the word, and they've learned in science that it's the eight. Of course, and connecting the word to the picture is so important. This is where the visual discrimination comes in. Okay, now what's the next step? They've learned that the larva. Okay, and the larva is the next step. And I'm going to go ahead and write the word larva. And you can say L A R B A. Look how awesome it's looking. Wow. Look at all the vocabulary they're learning. And the next step is the pupa step. Okay. Where it goes here. That's called the pupa. And also the ant, just like the butterfly, goes into a metamorphosis. So it's P U P A. Kind of like this. Now the last stage is of course the ant, which is the adult ant. I'm gonna write ant. See how it's looking? Wow. They're learning the sequence of an ant. Now, but we need to make a front. So we fold it back. And we need to make the cover of our book. And you take and you take the paper we cut out and you glue it to the front of the book. Make sure that it's right here in the front. And you just put the little face. And it needs the little eye. So we've got to make an eye. The children will be creating this. See, some children, they'll be able to do this. <laughs> Look how cute it looks. I mean, when you see their art, it's just beautiful. I love to see children's art. See, and it starts looking like this, but there's something missing. The antenna. So just take take the, the papers that you cut in the corners. They can just slice there. And just glue it here. There's one antenna. wrong side here. We put it here. We got the little antenna. Put it there. And see we've used the little and there it is. And you have your little cover and you have the little sequence. And remember because of the shape of this booklet it is novelty to the activity. And uh, the children feel so proud when they do this. They love doing this all hands-on and reinforcing so many skills. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.